Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. It is Sunday, January the 15th, and our devotions are coming from Joyce Meyer's book called Trusting God Day by Day. Our devotion today is entitled God's Rest for You. And how appropriate, because Sunday's supposed to be a day of rest. A time to reflect. It's funny, I woke up this morning, and the Holy Spirit woke me up with that Carpenter song, Close to You. So I know today's going to be a day where I'm spending a lot of time, just like me, they long to be close to you. So I was like, Lord, I receive that. that God speaks to me like that. I don't know if he does that for you, or if that's just me and my personality, and he knows what I'll respond to. <laughs> But I got the message, and so it's going to be a very sweet day of fellowship today. I really love the Lord, and I love His Word. Okay, our scripture reading for today comes from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 10. For he who has once entered God's rest also has ceased from the weariness and pain of human labors, just as God rested from those labors peculiarly his own. Now let's hear how Joyce expounds on this. Each day we have certain purposes we wish to accomplish. That's true. And at the end of the day, it is proper to rest, not only physically, but our souls also need rest. We need rest physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Faith allows us to rest spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. Even our will gets a rest when we have to trust in God. We don't er worry or reason. We are not upset or downcast, and we are not trying to make something happen that is not God's will. We are at rest. Paul was singing in jail. Jesus was praying for others while being crucified. Joseph decided that if he was going to be a slave, he would be the best slave his owner ever had. And later, Joseph decided that if he was going to be a prisoner, even though he did not commit a crime, he would be a prisoner with a good attitude. We need to be honest about what the real cause of our stress is. Is it really our circumstances in life? Or is it the way we respond to the circumstances. There is a rest available and we must strive to enter it. Entering the rest of God should be our number one priority after receiving Jesus as our Savior. I ask you, have you learned to sit and enter God's rest? We may say that we are trusting God but there is no evidence of trust unless we stay seated in Christ. Now, this is definitely speaking to me because I need to know how to enter rest. I'm one of those can't sit still kind of people. And I like, I like, I just like being up and active and moving around and taking care of things that need to be taken care of. I like to have order and organization, even if it's organized chaos, because I'm not a minimalist by any stretch of the imagination, as you can clearly see from what's behind me. <laughs> I'm not a minimalist, but I'm also not a hoarder. And, you know, there's all kinds of junctures in between. All right. I do need to know how to enter into rest and ruminate on God's word and let it sink in. But it's important that when we're going through trials, we might be saying, oh, I'm trusting God, but are you losing sleep? Are you physically becoming ill due to the stress and pressure? Then you're not. <laughs> you're not trusting God because there's an element of I must get this done. And I'm not saying you sit back and don't take care of your responsibilities. I'm saying, first of all, cast them on the Lord. Cast all of your cares on the Lord and he will give you rest. When you trust the Lord with all your heart 
and lean not on your own understanding, acknowledging him in all of your ways. He will direct your path. And that is something that because we live in this natural world, there's certain things that we just don't feel God's involved in, I guess, to where we feel, oh, this is my responsibility. I must take care of this. But there's an element of you do that while God is directing you and be sensitive and discerning enough of the spirit to know when you need to stop pursuing one vein of thought and pursue the open door the Lord has is opening up for you. Does that make sense? I, I remember there was this uh, young couple that was living with us for temporary, and, and my husband and I were very blessed to be able to offer a room in our home to, you know, a godly couple who really just needed a time of rest. And the wife was not resting. There was this constant striving, 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 striving. And it was applying for ministry positions at different churches. And my whole thought was, wow, I thought God opened up those doors. <laughs> and why would you apply for position? Because they had just left a position at a church that in actuality, the church fired the husband for standing up for God's holy standard. And it had to do with someone in the church that they were at who had somebody on staff who was living in flagrant sin blatantly and this person worked with children and they were like we can't have you know he the husband who was in the a leadership position in the children's ministry is maybe the children's pastor i don't remember what his position was but he spoke to that person about their sin um and said, you're in staff, you know, you need to take that, those things before the Lord. You can't live a openly a life like that, a sinful life openly in front of the children when you're in a position of authority in the church. You know, anybody who is doing that, if they're a drunk or a drug addict, it doesn't matter what the sin, okay? But if you're in a position of authority, you know, it's not good for the children to see you getting drunk in bars or getting high, or living in sexual sin, or fill in the blank, you know, you, there's a time for you, not that you need to be drummed out, is that leaders need to come around you and pray for you and, and help you get through that time, so that, you, do you see what I'm saying? There's a way to handle it, and unfortunately, churches haven't handled things as well as they should. Now, instead of correcting the young man who was living in flagrant sin, they fired him. And I'm thinking to myself, why would you go to a denomination? And maybe it wasn't, the because it was a denomination outside of where we were. And I was just like, how about you pray and ask the Lord? And I, I, I know this is sounding judgy, and I don't mean it to sound judgy. What I'm saying is, is there was a certain level of striving that was robbing her of her rest instead of entering into the rest God had provided, there was still, and I spoke to her about that, and we have to recognize the seasons of rest. And I, like I said, I'm somebody who has a hard time with that. Sometimes I just can't sit still. I feel like I can't sit back and relax because I need to be doing, because it's not in the Bible, but I hear people say this all the time, God helps those who help themselves. <laughs> well, there is a time where you do need to be relaxing in the word, in the Lord, not relaxing and just being lazy, but relaxing and entering into the rest and trusting God with every moment. I hope that makes sense to you guys. But uh, that can be a challenge as it is for me. And it's important to recognize, to allow the Holy Spirit to show you, am I continuing to strive when I need to be sitting back and resting? Am I releasing these the turmoil or releasing these cares that I'm dealing with? Am I releasing and trusting you? Or am I still holding on to them and letting stress and anxiety rob me of my rest instead of throwing those cares on you so you can give me rest? You see, I hope I'm making sense because 
it doesn't from my own ears aren't hearing things that sound sensible lord help me you know proverbs is all filled with good sense and sensible words and good advice and you know all those things it talks about having wisdom and how that produces those things so i'm really hoping i'm making a lot of sense to you instead of rambling on and on okay so i'll put a stop to my rambles our trust in him uh phrase for today is are you upset worrying or trying to make something happen. You don't have to be. God has a place of peace and rest for you. And all you have to do to enter his rest is put your trust in him. She summed it up perfectly because that's exactly what I was trying to say. So I don't know where you are. You know where you are. And the best place to be is at the foot at Jesus feet to lay those things down and to seek his guidance it's not a, a ticket to be irresponsible mm -mm. being responsible part of that is saying I want to do my part now God I'm trusting you to do your part so if I need to rest and you need to, you give me what you say you're going to give me the direction to lead me down the right paths when God is leading you it's going to come it's going to flow the ideas are going to be there the divine appointments and connections are going to come so that it can be done with excellence and in a timely manner and so that you're not stressed out does that make sense all right let's pray forgive me for being all over the place but father in the name of jesus i thank you for today i thank you for this word this reminder lord for those who are struggling with rest in their emotions, in their spirit, in their soul, Lord, even in their physical body, whatever the worries, whatever the cares that are pulling on them, whatever things that are occurring that the enemy is exploiting to steal from them their rest, which could lead to illness and physical weakness, we ask you, Lord, to show us, to help us to recognize the rest you're providing and to enter into that rest. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the gift of rest. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you made it this far, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Come back and check out some of the other content on my channel. I really do appreciate those of you who have already subscribed. You still blow my mind. And I really, really do appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful day today. God bless you and bye until next time.